All righty. Well, welcome, welcome, welcome. 2019 is nearing, and I haven't done a what's in the bag in a long, long time. So right back there, that's my competitive set, and I'm going to show you guys what's in my bag. I'm just driving out here to hole number 18, Papago Golf Course. There it is directly behind me. I'm just basically going to play hole number 18. The bag itself that I use is the Jones bag. Alrighty guys, welcome to 2019, what's in the bag? I'm gonna go ahead and start off with the big sticks right here. Number one, the big dog, got that cool sugar skull head cover on there. Rocking the M4. M4 gives me a little bit more lift. I have a 10.5. I need to launch it as high as I can as possible. As you guys see in my videos, I do tend to hit a little bit lower. So this M4 really provided me a lot more lift and a very, very minimal backspin as well. Put the Project X hazardous shaft in it. I love this shaft. It is a 6.5, 75 gram low spinning shaft. If you are someone who struggles with putting too much spin on the ball or it's hitting those Johnny risers, don't want those to come into play, try this Project X hazardous shaft. I got the Golf Pride multi-compound grip basically on every single one of my golf clubs that I have. It's a mid-size. I like that little bigger feeling. My hands are a little bit bigger, so I need something to support that. Three wood. M M4 right there, basically exactly like the driver. 15 degrees, but I did throw the Project X even flow in there, 6.5 X 75 gram shaft. This provides me a little bit more feel. I can work the ball a little bit better with this shaft versus that black shaft right there. Also, multi-compound grip, per usual. And last but not least, out of the driving irons and big sticks, I got my Taylor Made 3 Mid Gappa. I absolutely love this stick. This thing is one of those clubs that just basically every single time I know I'm gonna hit it in the fairway. Uh, it goes about 250 to 260, depending on how far I wanna hit it. I have the KBS Prototype X105 in there. I like a little heavier feel. I also added a little lead tape to the back of this just to get a little bit more swing weight in the head versus the handle since I do use a mid-size grip. Very, very great club. This is one of my favorites in my bag. So to the irons, right here. These are three of my irons right here. They're all the same, four through pitching wedge, P790s. Just can't get away from these clubs. These are one of my favorite golf clubs I've ever hit. Consistent, they feel good, and they go far. Really, really far. Especially when you get to the seven, six, five, and four. Even the eight without that speed slot technology in there, it still gets out there and it provides ultimate feel. A little bit bigger on the top line up here, but I can get over that real, real quickly, especially in the forgiveness part. Rocking the Project X, six fives in these ones. Not flighter or anything, just normal, good to go. Got the Golf Pride MCCs on these ones. These are awesome grips. Not only do they hold together for a long, long time, but this rib right here, which is not even really a rib, just gives you a very good sense of where your hand should be at all times. I love these grips. And Golf Pride, thank you very much for sending these. To the wedges. 
So these are going to be the only ones that's a little bit different outside my bag. I do have the Cleveland RTX 3 and 4 wedges, 50 degree, 54, which is bent down to a 55, and then your traditional 60 degree. I just really, really love the weight of these clubs. I like that they're a little bit smaller, and they just have a great, great feel to them. They also have this different type of bounce to them. Not really sure what exactly that does, but I do know I love them. These also have a little bit different shafts. They have the Dynamic Gold S400. The Tour Issues just provide a great flight and ultimate feel. Always golf pride, but I did go to the traditional velvet type. Just I wanted a little bit more feel. There's more times that I use these clubs without a glove, so I just want maximum feel with these grips versus the multi-compound. So right there, three great pitches. So right there, three excellent pitches, three excellent wedges. And now, for the most important club in the bag, Zepada. Really doesn't matter what you putt with, as long as you're confident with it. And this tailor-made spider daddy long legs is the one that I'm confident with. It's 38 inches long. I really grip high on the handle right there and it just gives me an ultimate feel for a head weight right here. Some reason this spaceship looking of a putter has made a lot of putts for me. So this is what's gonna be gaming for me for 2019 and I am super excited about it.